Hello, my name is Menturius and welcome to another episode of Games Under the Radar. In this edition of May, we will have some new great games that I found in the Reddits and on Twitter and wherever I looked to get you these games. The first game of this month is Overcrowded Community Map. This game, developed by Squareplay Games, is a two-person independent game developer, one artist and one coder. Together they have developed this game from 2012. Overcrowded is a tactical management sim set up in the London Underground, planning base building with possible real-time strategy. Overcrowded offers a unique mix of spatial puzzles, strategic thinking and split-second choices. Can you manage your station and get the million of people that use the London Underground to their destination? Overcrowded has a detailed micromanagement system. You have to do everything. Emptying the trash can, refueling the generator, it's all in the game. All the commuters, IA and staff activities are simulated down to the individual level. This brings great gameplay. Well, this game will give you joy or make you cry. The next game on the list is Undead Horde. Become a necromancer and raise the dead. Undead Horde is an action adventure where you command the undead. You assume the role of the necromancer on a quest to eradicate the living from the ancestral lands of the undead. The player must roam the fantasy kingdom to kill the living and raise them as his undead minions. Slowly the player will grow his powers and will be able to take on even more powerful forces. In this game the player will be able to find unlimited power, dangerous weapons and many many different type of hordes. This game is an easy RPG style hack and slash action. You will be able to level up and raise the dead, become more powerful, build up your necromancer with items that to suit your needs. You will be able to explore vast worlds and dungeons and find many enemies in it. Undead Heart by Tentons. The next game on the list is kind of different type of game. Year in Trees, the first game from one person independent game studio Luno Lands. This developer started his project in March 2016. He hopes to get his game in early alpha this winter. So we got something to look forward to. Year in Trees is a pixel art survival RPG about beginning a new life in an enchanted forest filled with secrets. This game is generated in a way that no two character stories are ever the same. Travel deep in the heart of nature and learn to survive on your own while unearthing the forgotten history of this place. You need to get a resources, craft new items by farming, trading, exploring or fighting. Each item you make has a chance to unlock new recipes. As you expand your capability and wealth, you will be able to recover powerful items and hidden lore from the future's reach of this forest. That is permanent, but items and upgrades can be passed down to further characters. You might decide to play as a farmer. This run in order to stockpile provisions for your next character. This makes that you won't play this game just one time, but you keep on playing it. That's at least my expectation of this game. Ultimately, it's up to you. Choose carefully what you will pick to be in this game. Because it has many ways to play this game and I think I will play this game over and over. But I'll have to wait until winter. In this game you will be able to farm, fish, forge or fight. Specialize in surviving skills that suit you and your playstyle. Gathering resources, crafting tools, casting magic, unlock new abilities and preparing meals because you need to eat. This game is not on Steam so I'll put a link down below where you can find the website of this great game of this indie developer. If you subscribe on his website you will get exclusive access to the private alpha demo. The fourth game on the list is Epoch Racing League. Experience the world of motor racing from a new perspective. Epic Racing League is a top-down racing game with 3D semi-isometric visuals where the player complete in a wide variety of cars classes that capture the world of motorsport through the errors. Learn to master a wide range of racing disciplines, organize custom races and championships, customize your car and your driver. Come up with clever pit stop strategies and fighting 
wheels to wheel to win. You will be able to play this game with keyboard or gamepad. You will be able to race all over the world, on and off road. Design your own championship, fight it out with your friends. No release date has been set yet, but I will post a website down below so you can subscribe to their newsletter. And as always, I will challenge you to find a good indie game for me and leave it in the comment down below. I hope to see you guys in the next video and uh, you know the drill. Leave your comment down below, leave your game that you think deserves a top 5. I would love to hear from you guys. Subscribe, push the bell and press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next edition of Games Under the Radar.